brothers and sisters on our flat, domed, stationary earth. So my daughter and my grandson are staying over for a couple of days to help out because my wife's left-handed and uh, that's the arm that that broke. Go figure, right? Well, anyway, everything was cool. She was cooking for us, helping my wife out, her mother, having a good time with my grandson, hanging out. And just a little while ago, I was uh, cleaning out the uh, guinea pigs, uh, you know, it's a tray where he stays. And then I put him in another tray while I'm cleaning out his main cage. And, uh, and uh, sure enough, he took a leak and the water went to the low part. And my uh, grandson's like, oh, look, Papa, it looks like, a, like ice. It looks... You know, it looks like a little ice ring or something. And I said, yes. I said, water finds its level. And he goes, no, I see a curve. I said, yeah, my curve, but when it settles, it always finds its level. That's a fact, my grandson. And uh, after I was saying that to him, and I told him, and that's one of the reasons, one of the proofs, that our earth is flat. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Do you think you do? And right away he's like, no, Papa, no, Papa. I said, yes, that's one of the proofs. There's over 200. Can you do me a huge favor and never repeat this to anyone that you respect, okay? Then my daughter turned the corner from upstairs and uh, she goes, what are you talking about? What are you doing? And so I told my grandson that um, water always finds its level. And that's one of the proofs that the earth is flat. What the fuck is wrong with these people? And right away she goes, oh, stop talking about that to him. And I said, why? I want my grandson to know the truth. Why you stop me from saying that? What's the big deal? Why do you get upset? I said, you go to church, right? every Sunday, right? I said, well, in our Bible now, because our Lord is powerful and great, and he told us in the latter days all truth will be revealed, now we're finding out there's 200 verses that tell us that the earth cannot be moved. We're not flying through space. And she's like, I don't wanna hear, please, please, stop talking about that, please, please. And I was like, okay, calm down. I said, don't get upset. I said, but I really want my grandson to know the truth. You know, and she goes, well, that's not the truth. I said, well, it is. It really is. That was a lie. And then she got the, she gave me the cold shoulder. So here it is. She's staying for a few days. Everything's fine, having a good time. And the minute I bring up flat earth, they make, they just turn into Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type people. And I just, that's one of the things I just don't understand. Why do so many people right away get mad when you talk about it? Hello again, all my brothers and sisters on our flat, domed, stationary earth that cannot be moved. Well, anyway, today I had another episode of my daughter and my grandson. Um, my grandson was watching uh, the movie uh, Jurassic Park, and he was really into it. And I told him that uh, there's no such thing as dinosaurs. Oh, for fuck's sake! And uh, he flew off the handle. He was, started screaming for his mother. And... Uh, started yelling, yelling, yelling out, Mama, Papa's talking about the flat earth again. And I said to him, I, I said, I didn't say anything about the flat earth. Why you put words in my mouth for? I said, all I said was that dinosaurs aren't real. And my daughter says, well, yes, they are. Why, why would you say something like that? It's bad enough you're trying to push flat earth on them. Now you're telling them there's no such thing as dinosaurs. I said, there's not, the earth is not that old. 
and there's no such thing as any dinosaur bones. You idiots. I watched plenty of uh, videos on it, and uh, it talks about if you went to these museums, of course, if you ask anybody that's the head of the joint there, if they're real dinosaur bones, and they say, no, we don't keep them here. So apparently, like uh, Eric DeBay had on his channel, maybe they're stored away somewhere in some warehouse. But I told him, I said to my grandson, I said, the only thing they find that's old is the remains of giants. Are you fucking retarded? What the hell's the matter with you? And then my daughter said, that's enough. No more, no more. I said, well, you go to church. They talk about the giants, don't they? Right? I said, well, the people that, the archaeologists that dig them up, if they bring it to somebody who's in charge of this uh, Satan Globes construct world lie, they take those bones and uh, confiscate them. They don't want the public to know. And that's the truth with that. They have to believe me. Well, anyway, they were in the white with me. I got the cold shoulder again. And uh, I stood firm. I actually, I actually was, uh, I was a little annoyed myself because I said, you're totally brainwashed. I said, my grandson is totally brainwashed. I said, it's pretty sad. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you will find out that I've been telling you the truth. There's no such thing as dinosaurs whatsoever. Well, anyway, that's what I went through today. And over here in Buckeye, Arizona, it's like 115 degrees out. No rain in sight. I'm here 23 years, I've never seen it this bad. Sky full of chemtrails. And my wife or my daughter, they don't, they think it's normal. Well, they don't want to bother if I talk about them. Uh, I tell them, well, the reason why it's not raining and it's this hot, it's Everybody's tired, nobody wants to go out, and their eyes are red. I said, because it's the chemtrails, and they don't want to hear about it, they don't believe it. And I told them, you don't believe your own eyes? You think, look up there, just look up. You think that's normal? That's why I talked to my grandson, I want to wake him up. I need to wake up as many, as many people as I can. That's what I do. How about new?